everybody. We're at AES 2005 um, at the EMU booth. Um, we're showing off some new gear. Um, today we got the 1616 laptop digital audio system. It has all the power, DSP power, and um, pristine I.O. of our PCI line. And um, as the name implies, it has 16 inputs and 16 outputs. Uh, 10 of which are digital using ADAT and SPDIF and 6 are analog. Um, 6 are analog ins and outs. Two of the six inputs feature brand new mic preamps that we call Ecstasy. Um, super low noise, very transparent, um, real nice preamps, 60 dB of gain, so you can plug guitars, mic straight into the system. Um, the, the dock basically breaks through this cable into the um, ECM CIA card that goes into any laptop. And the, um, the card actually features a DSP chip just like our PCI line which takes the load off of the computer, especially for things like mixing and effects. Um, what I have up on screen right now is Patch Mix DSP. Um, this basically allows you to mix your host sources, so things like uh, things like Wave Audio or WDM Audio, um, ASIO, which is from, coming from your DAWs or your virtual instruments, and these uh, green ones are actually the physical input I.O. Basically, this environment lets you mix all of that stuff and send it to whatever speaker assignments you want to monitor your uh, entire session. Uh, basically, this is the mission control for your studio. Um, you have discrete monitor control here with a mute and a balance control, so you can actually change your um, speaker volumes, monitor volume, you can mute when you got a phone call or something, without actually changing the main mix, which might be going to a DAT, might be going back into a, a host software to get recorded. Um, another cool feature of of patch mix is that it lets you route. Uh, like the name implies, it's a patch bay as well as a mixer. So that's how we got the name patch mix. And the way we allow you to patch things is when you right click on a on a strip, we get a menu of many choices. Uh, one choice is the insert send. This allows you to insert a output from an input. It may sound a little confusing, but so the audio comes in and you gotta send it somewhere. So we call it an output. Um, and basically it lets you choose any of the physical holes or the outputs of the box or you can send it up to ASIO to get recorded or you can send it up to a WAVE uh, for instance if you're recording into a WDM application. So you choose one of those and um, you get this thing called a send that's already up there. And this is allowing you to take for instance uh, mic line A and record it in an ASIO app. Another cool send, um, another cool widget that we have is called the insert send return. This actually allows you to use I/O on the box to, for instance, patch into a hardware piece of um, equipment. For instance, you got a Lexicon reverb um, lying around, or you have some other piece of gear that you want to use. You can just patch it up, send and return, just like on an old traditional mixer, and use it um, in your session. Once you create one of these, everything you can, everything can be drag and dropped. So for instance, if this was one of my old reverbs, I can just drag it from one singer to another. Or if I want to let everybody use it, I can put it in auxiliary and turn that up. All of this is happening in uh, hardware, in D DSP, so there's no latency, there's no CPU load. It's a huge benefit, especially on a laptop. Another cool feature of the DSP is our effect system. Uh, basically. We have 27 different effects, what we call core effects. Okay. Everything from equalizers, compressors, auto wall filters, uh, leveling amps, delays. Uh, this is pretty large. You can just simply grab, uh, for instance, this compressor. I'll just grab it and drag it here. And once you click on that cell, you see on the right-hand side, the, uh, the TV view comes up, and you can edit the, the uh, effect at will. We also made a lot of presets for you, so we got something to start with. And then you can um, also save them once you create them. When you integrate both of these things, the effects and the patching, a uh, cool thing starts to happen with a drag and drop. Uh, right now I have a compressor on that uh, dock in strip and a send up above it. So what's happening there is the microphone, for instance, comes in, hits the send and goes up to your software to get recorded. And then it goes through a compressor. So that means that your monitoring environment, like your headphone environment, would actually have the compressor on it. If you actually want to record that compressor, all you have to do is move it up above it. So now it runs through the compressor before going to ASIO. 
So that's one of the cool um, drag and drop tricks on patch mix. That you can actually create a wet or dry thing with the effects really, really easily. So that's the basics of patch mix. Uh, another cool thing is now this is the first time we're going to be able to run Emulator X and Proteus X on a laptop. So this is really, a lot of people are really excited about this. Uh, so let's just launch Emulator on here. I already have them too. The Emulator X standalone. It also works in a VSTI format, so you can use it as a plugin in, a, in your favorite VST application. Um, it's a streaming or a RAM sampler, uh, so it can do disk streaming or it can read in RAM. It comes with over two gigabytes of sounds. One of the uh, things that got loaded up right now is a Proteus composer set. Uh, this is 1,024 sounds from our uh, world famous Proteus 2000 sound module, and also comes with a 1.6 gig piano and a whole bunch of sampling so other sounds so uh, right off the bat you get a lot of sounds to work with navigating this you know this larger library is very difficult sometimes so what we've done is we've created this many type many types of categorization to allow you to uh, quickly find the sound you're looking for uh, first is using this category search you can look for like BPM bass uh, drum kit uh, all by name you can also um, search by number if you memorize the numbers and stuff like that. We also have the single module view. Um, this looks kind of like a Proteus 2000 used to look, um, where you can also choose category filters here. You notice um, all of the categories in this bank will show up, um, like synth, vocal, wind. And once you choose a category, for instance, like orchestral, anything that you scroll through will be orchestral. So this really speeds up the process of finding that sound, that right sound, and all this. Um, each preset can be heavily tweaked. Um, the synth engine is basically from the E4 um, and the Proteus 2000. It is very large, very deep, uh, allows you to do massive editing, um, has some exotic things like um, pitch tables, tuning tables. Um, each preset can actually hold two um, discrete effects. Um, so each preset can have two discrete effects and then the whole thing can have three aux effects. So very, very powerful effects topology. Um, also, once you come out of emulator into patch mix, the, the stuff I showed you earlier, you can actually use those effects too. So as a total um, effects and mixing system, it's really, really a lot of power. Just to take a quick look at the kind of effects we got in emulator, uh, these, are, these effects are more focused on sound design, making the, make the thing sound cool. So uh, we got a, a little more exotic variety of effects. Um, things like sp 12 later. What that does is make stuff sound really bad. Because <laughs> um, nowadays stuff sounds too good. Everybody wants it to sound bad. So you can basically run it through this sp 12 later. We'll let you get, for instance, 12-bit res resolution. Just make stuff sound real nasty sounding. Um, we also have another plugin called Tube which also does a similar thing, uh, gives it that two gain effect. Um, and we have Growl, which has some really, really <laughs> strange uh, uh, things. It works really great on saxophone type of samples with a little bit of, of edge, a sawtooth wing. Um, also, the entire engine. Our engine is can be accessed here. This is the per voice window. Um, so each sample or each uh, voice, as what we call it, can actually be run through this entire synthesizer here. Um, you have a massive amount of uh, of key assignment power. Uh, for instance, things like glide modes. We have many, many different types of glide modes um, or solo modes. Uh, we have three different envelopes a massive modulation section, and of course the world famous um, Z-plane filters. There's 64 different filters that you can apply on a per voice basis. It's really, really powerful stuff. Um, to ease the editing again, to make this faster and faster, we've also implemented a templating system. So right now I've right clicked on this filter section. Each of the blocks in this synthesizer section 
can be templated very rapidly. So you just can make, uh, once you have a setting that you like, you right click and you can save a template. And then once you do that, you can apply that to any other sound in the bank or you know any other bank um, you want to make. It's a library, so um, you can keep growing it. And once you make these complex setups, you can just apply them very quickly to other sounds. Uh, really cool. Emulator also has a full-blown wave editor built in. Allows you to do looping. Uh, and destructive, destructive editing on waveforms. It's a little list of the stuff that it does. So your standard um, truncate, reverse, uh, normalize, DC filtering, and stuff like that. So basically, you never have to leave Emulator. Um, you can do all your editing and sample work inside the program. Another cool feature is that this sampler actually samples. So we actually have the capability using, for instance, the 1616M or any of the digital audio systems uh, to record uh, and, and sample audio. Once we, once we acquire the sample, this window will quickly allow you to chop up the sample. Uh, basically, it finds um, silence and strips everything out, names it, places it on the keys, so sampling is very, very rapid. So this is really great. It's, um, it's finally available on the laptop. Uh, we also are launching at this show a couple new libraries, which probably um, Ashley's going to talk about. But one of the one is called MSO, uh, the Modern Symphonic Orchestra. It's just 10 gigabytes of brand new orchestral um, samples programmed um, specifically for Emulator X and Proteus X. What we've done is we made the articulation stuff, the stuff that's very difficult to get. Um, you know, you all get that machine gun effect. Well, those types of articulations are, are very uh, much simplified with the, the new technology that we have in Emulator. So I hope you guys can check that out. We have 11 libraries now, so there's tons of sounds for Emulator, and it runs on a laptop. So we hope a lot more guys get into it. Thanks for listening. Emu.